Okay, everybody, I'm going to walk you through a different setup. Um, I, the first video I shot was if you had an HDMI input on your TV. Um, m most of the, in fact, I guess all of the new TVs have HDMI. If you've got an older TV, um, uh, you may not have an HDMI in. You may have the uh, the old RCA cables in. I'll show you some of those in a minute. That look like this. Let me, Libby, help me. Um, Libby's uh, my videographer today. So your uh, old TVs, most of them had uh, inputs that look like this, where the audio signal came through white and red, and the video signal came through yellow. So if you have um, an the RCA type input in the back of a TV um, and you don't have an HDMI, you may very well have a VGA input. I'm not going to show you how to hook up this to a computer because this is a lot more difficult. But VGA is pretty easy. So VGA, um, let's just walk over to the TV we're going to hook this up to, maybe. Uh, VGA is how, um, for the longest time, computers used to hook up to monitors. So you're used to probably calling this just a monitor cable, and that's fine. That it's this is a um, standard VGA cable. Um, so if you have uh, an older laptop um, that has a VGA out of a laptop, or if you have a desktop computer, uh, if you have a desktop computer, your screen is probably big enough. You're not going to have to go through this. This is mainly for laptops, and you just want to have a uh, a little bit better experience. So this is hooking up VGA. So I would find on the back of the TV a VGA input. This is um, this this TV has both HDMI and VGA so uh, I would use HDMI. That's definitely the first choice but um, if I didn't have HDMI then I would find the VGA. It's RGB also. PC. You see that's a, a computer input. So that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a monitor input on the back of the TV. But also, if you'll stay right there, Libby, it has an audio in. So at the same time, the, the, uh, the VGA cable, these RGB cables, only carry the video signal. To get audio from the computer, you'd have to plug in right there. So I'm going to show you how to do that, too. So I would go ahead, I would plug in the VGA cable. I do screw them in. I know some people just plug them in and leave them, but you'd be surprised. Sometimes those things can wiggle out and make your screen look crazy. Um, so, then I would take a cable that looks like this. This is just a regular audio cable. Um, uh, I, this is a, a standard 8th inch um, I call these stereo. <laughs> this is not actually the correct term for them, but it does give you a stereo signal. Um, so this is what you'd normally see on the end of some headphones or earphone, earphones. And if you go to you know wherever, Walmart or Best Buy, you can get a cable that has both, both ends. And for my TV, that's how I'm going to have to hook up. A lot of TVs have, instead of a, um, a an eighth inch stereo input that you see all these red and white inputs for audio so you'd need one of these cables which is like an, a Y adapter or a Y cable so you'd have your stereo 8th inch connection that you would plug into the headphone jack of your computer this is to get audio to go through this TV you would t stick you would put this in the headphone jack in your computer and this is the way I've seen a lot of TVs get the audio signal or you could plug these directly into your amplifier if you have a um, surround sound setup or a, uh, uh, just a regular amplifier. So in my case, it's this eighth inch. So I'm going to plug that in so I'm getting an audio signal. Okay. Then I'm going to plug the other end into the headphone jack on the computer. So there's my headphone jack. And if you have an older computer, older laptop, 
your VGA um, your VGA connection is just going to be on the side of the computer or on the back of the computer. I don't have uh, VGA out on this Mac, so I'm using the uh, converter that I used a while ago. Where did I put it? Here it is. I'm using this converter um, to take the USB-C and I'm going to plug it into the VGA. A while ago I did HDMI, but this I'm just showing you how to use VGA cable. So again, like I said, I always screw these in just to make sure the connection is solid. I'm going to connect that USB-C into the computer. Now I've got video signal coming out here. And I've got my audio signal coming out the headphone jack. So now I've got to tune that in on the, on the TV. Right now it's looking for an HDMI connection. So on my, this TV, this remote gives you the option of uh, selecting an HDMI signal, an AV signal, a TV signal. This is a different signal. So I'm going to use this input button down here at the bottom. Yours might say source or whatever. So I'm going to hit input until I see, whoops, input and RGB is what this is. This is going to get a signal from my computer. Now, <laughs> what should happen is you should see a you should see a signal now. The fact that you don't means something is out of whack. So I'm going to try one more time see what's going on. We're going to select RGB. There it is. So um, RGB, now sometimes, you know, it may, so this is, uh, um, it's actually a great looking picture. This is actually in 1080p. This is uh, a high definition um, video signal coming from my computer onto that TV. So if I wanted to see the, um, the live cast, live stream, whoops, I would scroll down, find that video, on Sunday or Wednesday it'll already, you know, notify you, hey, they're, they're live, and once it got started, hopefully this won't be too, too loud, I keep this volume low, there it is, so now, I am hearing, now let me just show you something real quick, Libby, would you look down here? Mm -hmm. So the, the volume is not very loud. You would want to make sure that the volume coming out of your computer is at about 80%. So on a Mac, this one I can, I can turn up right there. So I want the signal at about 80 or 90% on a uh, Windows computer, you know, you usually there's a, a way to adjust the volume. You want a lot of volume coming out of the computer so that your TV or your amplifier is not having to boost a very, very small signal. So now I've got great sound, I've got 1080p video, and if I really want to dial it up and make it uh, the experience of even better, I'm going to put it on full screen mode right there. And if I hit it full screen, now it's filled up the TV screen. This is as good as we can do right now, and hopefully this will make it better um, for you and your family. Um, troubleshooting sometimes is difficult. You may have to change the um, the settings on the TV so that it knows to look for a high definition signal, but um, hopefully this, for as long as we have to do this, maybe um, this will make Sunday mornings and Wednesdays or whenever you do this a little bit better. Okay? Hope that helps.